is up my guys, Benoit here, and welcome to Tactical Fellowship. Go ahead, hit that like button if you use the wrong tools for the wrong jobs, and why not subscribe if just like me, that does not keep you from getting the job done. Well today, we are building a gun box. The Tactical Fellowship Sabbatical Weekends will feature a couple of hand design stages by yours truly. And I need a gun box so that my dudes who are coming out to enjoy this weekend of Tactical Fellowship can have a place to safely and awesomely stage their weapons and dump them when they're done. Here we go, here's the wood you're gonna need for the project, and then here are the other items, the screws, the staples, the carriage bolts, washer nuts. So a gun box is real basic. You need a back, you need sides, you need a bottom, and you need feet. So we're gonna make our sides and bottom using two by sixes, and then the pistol tray is gonna be done using a one by four. Now, going to the side view, we're gonna create the feet that it kicks back on using two by sixes as well, and, and then a brace on that to keep them stable. Go ahead and take your three-quarter ply wood, put that on the ground, and cut two four-foot lengths with your two by sixes for the sides. Screw those in on intervals along the side and help yourself out by drilling some three-eighths inch pilot holes. It just feels like every time I don't drill a pilot hole, the wood splits, and I just scream in frustration. Another thing that you should do is go ahead and put a screw close to the top. This is really going to help stabilize that top joint and help it be strong. Now for the bottom, cut a length at 27 inches, drill your pilot holes, and then screw that through the bottom as well. Now for the carpet, I use just what use whatever you've got. I had some 19 and a half inch or something carpet squares, and I just kind of use them and cut them to the size I needed using my table saw. But I didn't staple them down yet. Also make sure that you put some on the bottom and also in the pistol tray as well. Now we're gonna make the pistol tray next. So what you need is a one by four. Cut that to 13 inches, and on either side put a 22 and a half degree cut with it standing up. That's what's gonna give you the nice angle. And now using the uh, the unused length that has the angled cut, go ahead and measure in seven and a half inches because that's gonna form the bottom and that 22 and a half angled cut is gonna then mate perfectly with that longer 13 inch one that you already cut and put in. Um, go ahead, drill your pilot holes and use inch and a half screws or whatever you want to put those two pieces together. Now what I did is I also put screws through the side. I think those are three inch screws and then um, along on the back as well I put one through. Now at this point I'm going to use staples, 5 8 inch staples and just staple everything down. Staple the sides, staple all the way through um, the center of the carpet squares or whatever you're using and I'll make sure that you also staple the top edges or any edge that you have so that it doesn't lift and get snagged. Uh, you want that really down there nice. Now for the feet you're gonna cut two two foot lengths of your two by six and I went 20 and a half inches up. I like that angle and you may you may want to do something different but then drill yourself your half inch holes and put your carriage bolts through and make sure when you drill the second hole you drill it high enough up that it doesn't hit the carpet and go through the carpet that you just laid. The reason why we do two is because if you only did one it would end up spinning the leg would end up spinning around. Now for the back brace for those legs you're going to cut a length at 30 inches and you drill your pilot holes and then using your screws um, put that through and that's going to provide a real stable support for this gun box to lean against. And there you have it you have a pretty sweet looking gun box. Well that's all I got and I hope this helped you out. As always, right past you straight and we'll see you next time.